Bogart facing Ranger Suarez. 22nd game for Ranger. 8-5 at ERA of 3.31. How about the fact that his ERA since being put into the rotation is under three. Yeah. And now Mike Moustakis. He's hit in every game since coming off the IL Chris and if you include the game before that it's modest but it's a five game hit streak. This pitch is swung yeah, on and missed. And the side is retired. 13 pitches for Ranger Suarez. If he does allow one hit he leaves one at first. Well I just hope that Nick Lodolo doesn't try to do too much different than he did last time. 2 2. Looped in the air, right field. Later break for Aquino, and the ball hangs. He's got it. Routine, perfect inning for Nick Lodolo. What a pick. Hello. Wow. Gene Segura's flipping some leather tonight. Clase Manos de Oro. Gold glove out there. One day, one day he should ben, win. A ben, gold are you glove. the only Irishman that can speak Spanish? Yes, I am. <laughs> Jonathan India starts it here for the Reds. India sends it in the air to right. Munoz awkwardly fading back, and that ball carries off the top of the wall. Gathered by Munoz. Overthrow to second. Slide. Helmet flies off from India. He has himself in scoring position right out of the gate in the sixth. Bohm cheats in at third. Bunt square. Drop down. Great one to third. Scoop by Bohm. No defender at third. Running throw. Nearly took him off the back. Senzel a rough spill. And he appears to be in pain. He gets India over. Sinzel pops to his feet and then jogs toward the dugout. You've got Moustakas, the only left handed hitter they have in a lineup up. Grounds it right side, and that's through. It skips past Segura. India scores. Farmer up to second, and the Reds have the first run of the game. It's one to nothing, Cincinnati. Uh, putting the ball in play is just so necessary and what would in another time perhaps be a 4 6 3 double play that one is an RBI base hit in the right field and Donovan Solano part of the reason he was brought on to hit lefties chipped in the air that's good carry actually all the way onto the track and the leap it's off the glove of Veerling later break for former stop sign at third and they'll be loaded. That ball just kept going, and Veerling could not make the play. Bases full of Reds. So three straight Reds have reached. Bases loaded for Aquino. Way outside, Aquino walks, and that pushes in a second run, and the boos echo down in Philadelphia. Now Jose Barrero from 0-2 worked his first walk of the year. He's also foul pop to third. Down, that's ball four. There's another bases loaded walk. And Suarez is having a little bit of a conversation with the home plate umpire right now. He did not like that call at all. Bases loaded on a team that's trying to contend. Well, that's a lot of confidence, right? See his numbers in Triple A. Swing and a miss. First strikeout is a big one. And the inning is over. That was huge. Edmundo Sosa is going to lead things off for the Phillies. The Phillies still without a hit. And Sosa slams one out toward right center field. It's pretty deep. I told you. Out. Can't get it. It's off the base of the scoreboard. First hit of the night for Edmundo Sosa. A leadoff double. Paul, we appreciate the fact that you have broken the no-hit string by sitting down. I know. Reds are up 3-0. Phillies threatening, though, to get on the board in the sixth. Hit sharply. Had base away. hit it to Had right away. field. Sosa scores, Hoskins to second, RBI single for Alec Bohm. Here we come. 3 1 ball game. Man can hit. Yep. And one on Real Muto, right handed hitter. And that one's there you go. Out left center again. field. Senzel won't get it. It's going to go all the way to the wall. What is it? Here comes Alec Bohm. He's going to score. The ball gets away. Right. It's a two run triple for JT. You want to talk about a guy that never shows emotion? That's J.T. Real Muto. He got the third base, and he was as about as ecstatic as I've ever seen him. That's a big time swing off the W.B. Mason side, or to the State Farm side. They come in bunches, don't they, Bo? That's right. Where he's Bob Johnny. Farmer. He has been hot, though. He hasn't allowed any uh, any runs in his last eight appearances, so he's been throwing the ball well. And Nick lights one into left field, a base hit. He extends his hitting streak. He scores to AT, and the Phillies take the lead.
It's a 4-3 ball game. Okay, you say it, we say it a lot, we talk about it a lot, but to have a catcher who can run, who hits a triple. Veerling 0 for 2, both of those advance. Oh, well, 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 get up. Left center field. Get up. It is gone! Matt Veerling. It's been a slow August for him, but he just went yard to give the Phils a cushion. It's a 5-3 game. Do it, Matty V. I know this is a team sport, but he needed that so much. Yeah, he did. And if the team needed that, yeah, like you said, Tom, to give them a little bit of a cushion, see how fired up he is. Rightfully so. Now the Reds tonight with men in scoring position, three for eight, payoff. Aquino crushes to left center. That's got good carry. That's off the wall. Lopez scores. Solano to third. Stop sign is on. The Reds within a run on a booming double by Aristides Aquino. It's five to four. Well, they kept the count alive long enough until he got to a situation where Alvarado had to throw a strike. And he had seen 101 earlier. I think that was probably 100 miles an hour right down the middle. And Aquino was right there with it. Barrero has walked twice, once with the bases loaded. He got him to swing. 95 mile an hour cutter. And there's two outs, back to back strikeouts, and they are huge. It's a heck of a bounce back right now for Alvarado. I just got to finish him off. Alvarado set to go, and here's the pitch. Swing yeah. out of this, he got him. Wow. He just struck out the last three hitters with a tie run at third. Too, that will leave the game in the hands of T.J. Friedel. Friedel, left-handed batter here against Brad Hand. Friedel crushes to right center field. Headlong dive short for Zimmer. Around third, Senzel. He scores to tie. Farmer home. He scores, and the Reds lead. A two-run triple by T.J. Friedel, and the Reds seesaw the lead in the ninth. From the mat with two outs, it's six to five. Wow. Here in the month of August, Stott hitting 319, 22 for 69. He just seems to keep getting better and better. Hello. High fly ball out to deep right center field. Aquino's going back. It is off the top of the scoreboard. Gene's on his way to Hold third. It. He'll be held there. Oh, what a swing by Bryson Stott. It gets uh, away. Gino's going home. He'll Great score. Great job. Stott to third. The Phillies have tied it up. Wow, what a job of base running by both. Seriously. Both Segura and Stott. That is exciting. Well, the Phillies defense let them down in the top half of the ninth. Happens to the Reds here in the bottom. Boy, that was close to getting on out of here. Sure was. Aton, 0 for 2 with a couple of punch outs and a walk last night. Back at it again with the count two and two. Winning run a third. Maton rips it. That's a fair ball. Phils are going to win the game. A line drive base hit for Maton into right. It scores Bryson Stott, and the Phils are celebrating. They win it 7 to 6 here in the bottom of the ninth inning. And that celebration may go all the way to South Philly.